Hi, my ASP peeps, and welcome to another episode of Conversations in Focus, where we get to know the wonderful members of the American Society of Photographers. I am your host, Marissa Bloody Lavoy, and I love this lady who is on our interview show today. I mean, I loved her before I even knew her. That's the love that I have for Robin. We so, like welcome, infants in love. <laughs> welcome, Robin Thompson. Woo! So, please introduce yourself and where you're from and your PPA creds. Oh, so I'm Robin Thompson. And I am in Salina, which is north of Dallas. And PPA creds are CPP and photographic craftsmen and working towards master photographer. Ooh, and I hear that's that's very close. It could happen today. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's we have to have it happen today because the juju. <laughs> yeah, it just really needs to happen today. It's, but... it's today the last MIR of the year. It's oh my gosh, best. girl. Nothing like the suspense bill. And I need one merit on the last MIR. How many did you put in? Four. Oh, okay. I didn't want to take any chances. So there's oh. four. Oh, so the heart palpitation. If you'll just pass everything in case one of them's mine, it would be great. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. And it's, I don't know if it's better or worse, the stress, because you you don't know when it's happening exactly. It used to be like when you would watch it on print competition, the, you could see it. It's 12 away. Right. And they kind of told you it was coming up and you, yeah. you had an idea. Yeah. So now just refresh your chart all day now, right? Yeah. Well, and it might not even be today. It might not be. Yeah. It could be tomorrow or it could be like you just you just don't know. So, yeah. Well, blessings to the universe for Robin to get her gorgeous gold stripe and jingle jangle to hit that craftsman but, but no we want to hit the masters we've already no, hit the... to smack into it when you walk yeah see <laughs> I mean, but here's the cool thing because then imaging is in dallas yes right? but they've also moved the award ceremony so when because we're manifesting this when it happens yeah i will be able to walk the stage on my birthday oh, oh my gosh this is just so cosmic once again if you're judging just pass everything in case one of them's mine <laughs> no 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 they're gonna pass it with a with a 85 at least right right yeah okay girl i feel like the stars are aligned for you that would be wonderful and coming into the well that's kind of like the next to to topic we're going to talk about when did you join the asp and with what degree my craftsman degree and i believe it was in 2020. oh we so I joined in, in the world we, set down we are craftsman degree in the same class <gasps> really yes it was super fun that was my year too in nashville yeah yeah, yeah nashville yeah. and then and the craftsman oh. degree um i i feel like very sweet or sentimental towards it because of all the work you have to do with the community to earn your craftsman degree and um for peeps who don't know the craftsman degree is the uh, the educational degree so you have to take in education and you have to give out education so robin was out in the world and and that was tricky because i'm in the dallas area and it's it's hard to find something that you feel like you can teach some of the people and you know I mean I guess everywhere you like you look around and there's some really great photographers and it can be very intimidating to try to figure out like what can I share mm -hmm. what was your topic I'm an alternative process girl so that pretty much got me through it because um I like darkroom and I like 19th century printing processes oh wow yeah so we just made your, your facets are endless Robin <laughs> alternative process you're just an alternative hippie chick i mean <laughs> <laughs> well wonderful i'm i'm so happy i'll have to go back and look at that titanic grid of people because we're in there together yes yes and that i feel like that was the last time they did that shot with all the people on the risers oh, i think you could be right because they I never after the pandemic so yeah i was so late oh my god i was Where so late in the in the 
thing? Were you at the bottom? I think I'm at the bottom because literally everybody was on the risers and I just in like it was home plate, like throwing <laughs> stuff to people like and that so process to watch how they loaded the people. It, when I walked around the curtain, because I was like the second to last, you know, and I turned that curtain, it was like seeing an iceberg or something. All everybody. Yeah. What an experience. I'm glad we got to experience that. And, before. and they haven't done that since? No, they haven't done it since. They took that away kind of completely after we returned. I think it was honestly oh, mildly dangerous. <laughs> and somebody sort of locked their legs during it and had to get uh, hauled down the middle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would say they probably had a high rate of pass outs on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because crowd surfing down some risers is yeah. not what you want to do. Oh no, my gosh! Thank you guys for stopping that. But we're in the we're in the last picture, so I'm gonna. Ha I should get it autographed. Best. I didn't even realize that. Craftsman class ever. What that we were in it together. We were the last ones. Yeah, I mean the last. They're the last surreal crafts. No, just kidding. <laughs> so evil right. so what is your current favorite genre of photography and what draws you to it so honestly my my favorite thing and, and you're gonna know how this started um i like artists i like musicians and um dancers and i really like artists but it because and it's and it's kind of been an ebb and flow like i've gone through all of the different genres and stuff because i tend to like okay now i want something different I'm really, I'm really loving that album cover and musicians and um, yeah, dancers, all the artsy people. I like, I like getting their energy. They're fun to create with. Oh, and Robin was my, was one of my mentees for the ASP mentor program. Shout out to that amazing program. But this That's chick awesome. dropped it. Just tell them, just tell them your rock star story, please. <laughs> Because then I have to gush about that guy. <laughs> I, 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 I can gush about him any day. He's, yeah. Um, so Vertical Horizon was in the studio. So I could do their portraits for all of their promo stuff. And now I've shot several of their um, their shows. Um, and and he's he's wonderful. I mean, like, he's beautiful. Like, I, I know. <laughs> Robin. So I know Robin has photographed this band and I happened to see them over the summer. And when this lead singer of Vertical Horizon came out, he is just reeking of rock star. And I, I know a lot of rock stars, let's be honest. But for some reason, he's also hot like the mummy. <laughs> so the combination of the two, I honestly don't know how she could keep it straight in the studio. I was screaming about it, how you could keep your composure. Bravo. He was, I think because he's so dry. That, yeah. I mean, he's funny. He's very funny, but he's very dry. And so you're just kind of, and it yeah. was a thing, like the manager's there and the band's there and the, like, you have all of these, they, they, you know, waters and at certain temperatures and it, like, it's, it's mm. kind of a thing. And so I didn't have time until after they left to be like, <laughs> yeah, you just got wet into work mode, perfect professional, and then what well, just happened to me? Yeah. And it was like, okay, now I have a rock yeah. star crush. Now I have to edit these with my heart palpitations. And you are a rock star. You give off rock star energy. Cool. I definitely think you can, You your pursuit of working with artists like that is part of your destiny. Okay, I love hearing that. Thank you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you fit right in, you little rock star. Oh, what first inspired you to become a photographer and how has your creative journey evolved since then? Okay, first inspired. I'm gonna kind of cliff notes this. Um, so I was a homeschool mom. And my son was very sporty and I am not very sporty. And so I was a nervous wreck helicopter homeschool mom of this out of the box kid. And my husband being, I, I discovered if I would take pictures of him sporting, I wasn't as nervous about somebody tackling him or throwing a ball in his face or whatever, because it's almost like you're watching a movie. And my husband was really nice and was like, okay, here's a camera, a better camera. Oh, wait, if you're going to do this, here's the lens that you want. And he just kind of provided things. And I didn't know 
anything from anything. So I decided if I had the cool lens to take these photographs, then I wanted to be in the cool spot because I didn't want people's heads in the way. So I just walked down on the sidelines and ended up just being the photographer, if you will, and then decided to go to school to learn more about it. And um, that was very humbling because I really thought I was like Annie Leibovitz of Salina, Texas and go to find out there was like a manual mode I didn't know about. Oh. And there, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know anything. And so I, when I went into class, um, my first professor who I'm still very good friends with, Bird Williams, um, oh my God, I left crying. I left crying. And then once I like got over the hump, then I would, was like, okay. And I've always loved people. Um, but I, I like the studio thing. I like just portraits and people. And at first it was going to be newborns. And then I decided I really would rather have something I could talk to. Um, that wasn't my jam. And kids crack me up. So I like kids. Um, but it's always been people beyond that. I mean, kids and sports are fun too, but... Um, yeah, I've never tried to like do that to make money, if you will. Yeah, you um, you have great concepts and ideas to engage those people too. Can can you please tell them that you hauled all that sand in? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm north of Dallas. There are no beaches, so yeah, I have no problem bringing a few hundred pounds of sand into the studio or fake snow or like whatever to get kids playing and having fun. Yeah, to get the real, re real interactions with them. You're the, you're the opposite of the sit and pose for some, some of them. I'm sure you have to tell them to look at the camera once in a while, but you like real human yeahness. I want the yeah. real thing. I want a real smile. I want a real, I, I also, I mean, I think it's probably true for all of us. When you have somebody in your space, if it's a studio or if it's just wherever you're photographing, you want them to have fun. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing that all of us do, right? Like we want an experience, we want it to be great. And there is not a kid I've met yet that's going to be excited about what we used to do at like Olin Mills, right? Where it was like, go in and you're like really uncomfortable and you're turning your head and it's weird and you're wearing itchy clothes. And yeah, I don't want it like that in this studio. Yeah. This fun. kid, I've taken his picture since he was born. I, I'm t I told him he was born in the sassy space. His sister was born in the park across the street and he really had the nerve to ask his dad before he got here how long this is going to take after he comes here and has the most fun uh and i then so every every time he had fun we we torture him and say it's gonna be another hour <laughs> right right <laughs> like only one more such hour. a horrible time having the best time of your life child oh my god these kids are crazy funny right <laughs> yeah these kids don't yeah, they're 100% going to play in the snow and then be like, are we done yet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I just had the most fun ever. Can I put my coat on and leave? It's like, what are you, you just abandoned me. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So what is the most rewarding aspect of being an ASP member? Oh, the most meeting people like you. Oh. 100%. Like you... In, in all honesty, like when I think of ASP or I think of the people that I've met through ASP, it's the people and it's the inspiration. And it's not just inspiration. It's also, I know I can call you with any idea and you're going to be like, oh, you go girl. Like you have that just empowering, you have empowering friends. You have friends that are going to like lift you up, build you up and just be like, that's awesome. It's just, and honestly, that's like the greatest thing ever especially as an artist because sometimes you'll question what you're doing you know hey i'm gonna bring 300 100 pounds of sand in the studio is that a good idea <laughs> yeah yeah well, and, and also it can be lonely as a photographer alone with your thoughts and your choices in this community like you said you have you know that there's somebody who has your back yeah anywhere anywhere you could turn and it's it's wonderful thank you for and it's and it's an honest back too mm -hmm. like you know i can learn from you and we can laugh about things and you know we can we can laugh about matt with vertical horizon and we can be like girl how did you do this i no, know yeah right? but it's seriously time, though <laughs> yeah i was here to say at the same time i remember entering um an image into ipc before there was mir and um 
I got a call from an ASP member that I will just forever love that actually called and was like, no, I want, I, it didn't pass. It didn't, it didn't merit. Um, and he was like, but I just, I really needed to reach out to you because I see you and I want you to know that I see you. You didn't earn it, but keep doing what you're doing. Just do more of it. And it was actually really cool to have that, like, I'm not saying anybody was wrong, but I'm saying you got it. You can do it. That was just a really, really cool thing, you know? Um, I appreciate that in, in this community. That's a beautiful thing. And I have seen the other side of it in other communities I belong to that I no longer do, where they really gatekept everything. And there was no one I felt like I could turn to to educate about and especially about the PPA system it wasn't until I went to New England um is <laughs> rest in peace but when I went to New England my friend Trish Logan she she said those words that said you you need to get your craftsman degree and at the time any of these degrees were just something that I mean, honestly, it was something that a person like me <laughs> or, or, you know, that was, that was definitely what I, I would see all the, all the, you know, older photographers with their, all the ones all up. I'm like Bob Coates. Yeah. And it's like, well, Bob I couldn't Coates really. Reached out to me that I was just talking about. Oh, it was Bob Coates. <laughs> he's the best. He is the best. He is, hey. he's the, he is the penultimate educator and inspirational person. I love him so much. And that was just un unattainable, but you, you do, you get the person who sees you and sees what you're doing and reaches out. And that's wonderful. I love it. it was Bob Coates. That's so nice. It's okay. I got to get him on this interview program, but um, I, I already, I get him to do everything. So I find it kind of feel bad sometimes asking him to do everything, but he's awesome. He's amazing. He is awesome. Oh, thank you. That was a wonderful answer. Um, are there any current projects or exciting work that you're pursuing that you'd like to share with our ASP members? Wow, I'm kind of changing a little bit of a lot of things. I am trying to move my studio from Plano up to Salina because I live an hour from my studio and um, it's been a little challenging. My husband's really sick and so it's been a little challenging to be both places. So I'm like, you know what, I can move it back up here. Um, where I left being up here because it was too small. Um, it's the fastest growing city in America now. I can move back up here. <laughs> oh, I know, yay. Um, so that's kind of happening. And figuring out how to navigate like a little bit of a, a location change while still doing what I do, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, I'm excited about that actually. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, new opportunities are, are always exciting. And you are a very talented artist. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You'll do great. <laughs> so where can where our peoples find you on the internet and be friends? Oh, bring all the friends. Yes. <laughs> on, on, I think uh, on Facebook, it's Fly Hippie. And on Instagram, it's Fly Hippie Photos. It's Fly Hippie. Oh, I saw you got your old page back. <gasps> I got congratulations. That only took a year and a half. Just only saying. a year and a half, but at least it happened. It happened, and I'm yep. so excited, which actually has prompted some of the changes. Some of the questions I had once I got it back, where I've learned a lot. Don't rely on social media as much as I did, folks. Don't do that. Um, but I need to, I need to have other ways, and so that's actually prompted some of the changes that I'm working on right now. That yeah, so yay for having Fly Hippie back. Awesome. Okay, well I hope you get lots of new friends because who wouldn't want to hang out with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for being on Conversations in Focus. I appreciate you, and I think you're wonderful. I appreciate you and you are definitely wonderful oh you are too and if anybody out there in the asp world any of our members would like to be on this program send me a message and let me know i'd love to chat with you thank you very much robin and see you all soon out there out there in the world i'll miss you <laughs>